What's up everyone? Welcome back to another video. I'm glad you guys are here. Uh, and like the title says, this is going to be a little bit different than I normally do. It's not going to be a vlog. It's just going to be me sitting here uh, kind of having just a real talk with you guys about a subject I don't really like to talk about. Um, but before we get started, and so I want your guys feedback first off. Um, if you like that, uh, this kind of uh, real talk about um, a little bit about grades and kind of just school in general and not necessarily try to put my um, the positive spin on on everything and how things are going that I normally try to do. I feel like videos where I'm just complaining and being negative all the time aren't going to do me any good and they're not going to do you any good. But I do want you guys to see both sides of dental school and see that sometimes uh, it gets rough and things don't exactly go your way. But first, before we get into all that stuff, uh, we, I have a really awesome opportunity coming up on the channel. So the next two videos, I think, are going to be perfect if you are a pre-dental student right now or anyone who is preparing to take the DAT, the entrance exam to get into dental school. I had two companies contact me, PAT Booster and um, Crack the Dat. They have given me a chance to use their software, um, their study materials to help people prepare for the DAT. And I really like both of them and I'm gonna be doing kind of a, an in-depth review of those and they are giving me discount codes to pass along to you guys. I think one of them's for 20% and then the other one's for 25% off of their subscriptions. I know the, DAT, uh, the, the test itself is expensive. I think it was like 350 when I took it and then you have to buy all the study materials on top of that. So anytime that we get a chance to save money, it is going to be, uh, we gotta take advantage. So I'm gonna be making those videos and giving you guys the discount codes um, very soon. Actually, I'll put the discount codes down below right now, but if you wanna wait until my uh, videos come out so you can actually see what I personally think of each of the uh, websites, just wait for the next couple of videos. But now let's get on to this video. So like I said, I'm kind of hesitant to even make this video or do this uh, little talk because I don't, I don't like being negative. I try not to be negative um, at all in life, but obviously there's times where you just get super frustrated and this semester has not gone at all like I had hoped. So um, D2, I'm in my second year, if you guys don't know, of dental school, the fall of second year uh, was hands down the hardest semester that I'm going to have academic wise. It's just a full class load and we have our hand skills class too. And, and all the upperclassmen say that that is definitely the hardest semester. And so I got that out of the way. Um, two weeks later in December, I took boards after my finals. I passed boards. So all that stuff was going pretty well. And um, now this semester starts. It's uh, spring of D2, and it's supposed to be technically an easier semester. Our classes aren't as hard, but for some reason, I am just not doing as well as I should. And I don't uh, talk a lot about grades specifically, um, not because I care. I wish I could talk about them all the time, but I just feel like a lot of people might, it might come across uh, the wrong way if I'm constantly saying, hey, I got a, uh, I, I failed this test, I got a 54 or I got a 99 on this test. I think some people just don't like it. Um, but I never mind. Uh, I know I'm trying my best in school. So whatever I get, you know, that's what, uh, what I get. And if I want to get a better grade, all I need to do is study harder. Um, but this semester I have, I think we've taken uh, five tests already and I haven't gotten an A on um, any one of those five, which is super frustrating. At the beginning of the semester, I was just, I think it was my own fault. I wasn't studying as much as I should. Uh, I was preparing kind of for these tests, but for some reason I just couldn't focus. And so I'd go in to these tests with only, you know, two, maybe three days of studying when it should have been, you know, more of a, a five day kind of thing. And th that's what happened on the first test. I just wasn't prepared and I got some, I got kind of uh, middle of the road B's, uh, which isn't bad. And like, I don't want this video to come across as whiny and you know, a lot of like, it's, it's pretty tough to get B's all the time in dental school. It's really hard. And so just to be able to do that 
it's an accomplishment, but I feel like I try to hold myself to a pretty high standard and I'm not always super thrilled when um, I get B's. And I'm sure a lot of you guys get that in undergrad courses and some of those super important chemistry classes, uh, OCHEM, um, physics, things that um, are going to reflect hugely on you when it comes time to turn in your application to dental school. You absolutely want A's and anything less than an A is kind of disappointing. Anyways, uh, so I was kind of stuck in the middle of the road uh, B area and I told myself, man, I don't, I don't like how that feels and so I'm going to put in a lot more time into the, um, the next three tests that we had. And again, like I, I put in a lot of time, uh, honestly, more time than I should have. And I still got B's and it just like, it sucks to be honest. Um, it sucks because I have, if you guys have watched any of my, like the beginning videos that I made when I was first starting my channel, it's probably awkward. Um, didn't know how to talk to a camera, but I went through a phase when I was starting undergrad or college that I didn't actually know if I was smart enough. And it took getting A's in a couple really hard classes for me to be able to realize that, yes, I can do this. I might have to study more than the next person because I guess I'm not uh, what they say, you know, like I don't have a photographic memory. I just have to put in more work than someone else to get um, a good grade. But I had knocked all those feelings out because if I if ever studied, I felt like I genuinely got the grades that I wanted to, except for this semester. And I, it's been super frustrating because those thoughts of, you know, me actually not being smart enough to get A's in these classes anymore start come, they, they start creeping in. And um, yeah, so it's just been frustrating trying to deal with putting in 110% or what I feel like uh, should be worth an A and not getting it. So going forward, these next two weeks, I have eight tests in two weeks before spring break. So obviously it's crunch time right now. Um, I'm making a video about competencies. It's our final hand skills test before we enter into clinic. So we have to do one of every drilling procedure that we've learned so far, and we have to at least be clinically competent before they let us start working on patients. And so I'm going to make a whole separate video on that because it's kind of a, a cool process. But as far as academics go, um, I have one test on Friday, two tests on Monday, another, let me see, uh, another test Wednesday, another test that next Friday. So tons of tests coming up. And honestly, I've been studying all day. If my eyes are bloodshot, that's probably why. Um, I'm trying to do something different. I feel like I was focusing too much on the readings and trying to get all these little tiny um, points from chapters and chapters of reading that I normally don't do. Normally, I focus on the PowerPoints that the professors uh, teach from or lecture from, and I think I've missed a lot of easy points that uh, that were covered on those lectures because I was focused on the nitty gritty details. And the other thing I'm going to change is honestly my attitude. I've just been so frustrated with school. And I mean, you guys know how that is. You, you get a teacher that you don't like, or you're, you're in a class that you like seriously could care less about. Um, and you just don't want to try hard. And you, a lot of times I ended up getting worse grades in those classes because I took not liking the teacher and I let that affect how much I studied for the class. So Changing my attitude, I'm going to try to give every single class as much time as it needs. I'm going to look, I'm going to try to change that negative, frustrating attitude that I've had when something goes wrong in lab during, um, during the class, during a normal class. I'm not going to let that uh, carry over and make me be like, oh, today was the worst. I'm just not going to study. I need a break. I need to watch a movie. I'm not going to do that for the next couple of weeks. And hopefully kind of hitting this reset button is going to help me get an A again, because it's not a good feeling when you're trying super hard and you don't get A's. And for a lot of you guys, I don't know. I think we have a lot of new subscribers. Hopefully I'm trying to, um, well, my end goal for dental school is I want to apply to an oral surgery residency and trying to deal with um, being competitive enough to, uh, to apply to a residency like oral surgery comes with its own pressures and it just adds um, 
more importance to every single point because I'm going to be compared to a lot of other applicants who are really, really smart. And um, yeah, so it just kind of adds on to the pressure of every test, every quiz, um, every point throughout every single day of, this, uh, of school just kind of adds up and I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I just need to worry about fixing the things that I know how to fix and getting back on track. I know I can do it, I've done it in the past. Anyways, this is uh, kind of my long rant. Uh, I'm so busy with all these tests that I haven't been able to film my, norm, uh, my normal vlogging, which I love to do. So hopefully you guys are okay with this. I'm sorry if this came across too whiny, not at all what I want to, uh, want to show you guys who cares about that um, but dental school can be hard sometimes it comes with a lot of ups and downs and you just kind of have to let it roll off your back and keep trying uh, block out the haters and eventually it'll all work out at least that's what i'm telling myself so that's it for this video i will see you guys in the next one hopefully it's not in the same chair winding even more see you in the next one